Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you haven't, and at the end of the video you enjoy what you see, do consider subscribing. It would help a lot with YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content. Thanks for being here. Do you have a crush? Maybe you've been thinking about how you can express your feelings for them without scaring them away. For many, telling someone you like how you really feel can be a daunting experience. Where do you begin? Well, we have some tips to help you. Here's how to show your crush that you like them without scaring them away. Number one, spend time around them. You don't say. Well, before you tell your crush how you feel, they need to know you exist first. If you already know them pretty well, even better. According to a 2011 research study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, familiarity with someone encourages attraction in a live interaction. Two experiments were reported in the study using a live interaction paradigm where two same-sex strangers interacted with each other for different amounts of time. The researchers' findings supported the previously suggested theory that familiarity leads to attraction. According to the study, the more participants interacted, the more attracted they were to each other. Mediation analysis identified three processes that contribute to this effect, perceived responsiveness, increased comfort and satisfaction during the interaction, and perceived knowledge. So try spending a bit more time with your crush. Even just sitting by them during class or lunch could possibly make them feel more comfortable around you if they welcome you. It may even key them into the idea that you like them. Number two, throw in a few flirty hints. Now that they're a bit more comfortable with your presence as a possible friend, try throwing in some hints that you have feelings for them. Make good eye contact, smile at them, give them a natural compliment. Perhaps throw in a bit of playful teasing, some flirting. If you're still a bit shy when it comes to flirting in person, try sending them a flirty text. Number three, go out of your way to talk to them. If you wanna show them you care about them, you have to make an effort to reach out to them. If they notice you go out of your way to talk to them at a party, lunch, work, or other social gatherings, they may just realize you have feelings, especially for them. You could even text them questions specific to their personality and well-being to show you care. Doing this often with a bit of flirting will set you apart from just being interested in them as friends. They may even start to think, why do they especially want to talk to me? Do they like me? Just remember to throw in a few flirty hints now and then so they know you wanna be more than just good friends. Also, remember to pay attention to their body language. Are they welcoming your conversations? Are they comfortable? Do they continue the discussion in texts? Number four, create a deadline for yourself. So you've been giving them hints, spending time with them, and have continued the great conversations. Now you have to tell them, right? Telling your crush you like them can seem intimidating, so you may just avoid doing so. Before you know it, the school year is over or they've relocated to a new workplace with a new position. A good idea may be to give yourself a deadline for when you'll tell them your true feelings. So if flirting has been going well, set a deadline for a week or two away, or maybe just a few days later, if things are progressing smoothly. You don't wanna overthink things and talk yourself out of letting them know how you really feel. After all, ask yourself, how would I feel if I never told them I liked them? Would I regret it? Number five, let them know how you feel. The time has come, my friend. Stand up tall, attempt some confidence, and let out the feels. It might be a good idea to reveal your feelings in a casual way first and plan what you'll say in advance. If you're unsure how they feel about you and you don't wanna surprise them too much, try saying, I think I have feelings for you. Or express how much you enjoy spending time with them and that you wanna continue spending more time with them, possibly on a date. This will give your crush a moment to think about how they feel about you in a romantic way, instead of declaring a statement that can seem to demand a certain answer right away. Number six, have a purpose when you do tell them. Okay, so let's say you tell them. Okay, now what? I mean, what if your crush is unsure of how they feel and need some time? Or maybe they're unsure of what to say. To avoid an awkward moment of silence, have a purpose when you tell them. This could mean asking them on a date when you express your feelings for them or asking them to that movie or your favorite band's concert you have an extra ticket for. This will make it easier for them to express their feelings as well. They may politely decline your date request if they're not interested. Less awkward than an imminent silence, right? Or perhaps they're busy that week, but if they like you back, 
they might express that another time works well for them. Or maybe, just maybe, they'll jump at the chance to go on a date with you. Hopefully they like your favorite band as much as they like you. So, will you follow these steps? How will you tell your crush that you like them? Share your stories in the comment section down below and remember to respect your crush's feelings if they don't feel the same way. Just because someone doesn't share the same feelings doesn't mean you're worth any less. We're all lovable people and the right person may be out there somewhere waiting for you. Maybe at your favorite band's concert. Hey, you never know. They may just be a bigger fan than you. Cue the romance music. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and share it with someone who might enjoy it. Perhaps your crush? Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.